Hello, what's up everyone? I hope you're doing good. So today I want to share about how I integrate Sentry, one of the best error tracking vendors. And in here, I want to show you the result of using Sentry in one of our projects. So let's get started. Okay, so uh, to get started, you can go to Sentry.io and sign up for Sentry. In here, I have already our own uh, projects. And in here, I want to show you how to integrate it. So you can follow the documentation uh, in here. Like uh, for Ruby on Rails, you need to set up the two jumps, Ruby and Rails. So if I open my GIMP file here, there is the Sentry, Ruby, Rails, and Sidekick, depending on what kind of framework you are using, right? And uh, for Ruby on Rails, you can go to the Sentry.rb and then actually they're providing like a very, very basic default, like like the following, right? So I only changing a couple of things here. So from using the hard coded value to a uh, environment variables, but the rest is the same. And I think one of the important part here is the sampling rate. Currently it is 0 0.5, but in the future you can increase the sampling rate into 100%, right? One is for 100%, uh, 0 0.5 is 50%. Awesome. So that's about the integration. And I think there is another part that you need to know, which is the uh, integration to your deployment pipeline. So for example, here, what I did is uh, I integrate the uh, Sentry releases into one of the uh, CICD. So for example, if there is a deployment to Heroku, the one that I'm using right now, uh, after I deploy to Heroku, I do a release. So for example, in here, I create a release, Sentry CLI. I'm using Sentry CLI here. You can install by using this command. And then in here, what happened is I deploy to Heroku. And then I mark the release. And then I do something else. And important part here is you need to create the release name or release version and then after that you need to deploy mark the the release as deployed and mark the sentry env i'm using a pattern here where i'm uh, using variables in each uh, pipeline like staging production and there is variable here like the project slug the env and the organization slug but then uh, I'm using the anchor here to refer to the top and then everything in here is actually using the variables we have in here. And then uh, it's automatically running. So for example, if I open in here in the releases, there is a lot of releases. And in here I'm using the uh, release version as git ref parse short five which is if I tried here in, in the shell, it is actually the first five of your git log uh, or, or a commit. So 6cc4, 6cc45, ff I mean. And then in here, I get all the releases automatically. So now I know if there is an issue, is it coming from the previous version or it is coming from the new version? So for example, here they said new issue. And in here, we can see the uh, environment, we can see the, the information, we can see a lot of things. Okay, so if you go to the releases actually each release uh depending on the tier of your uh sentry 
if you are in the higher tier, you can see all the details. I think uh, that's it about Sentry, and I hope you enjoy the video. This is one of the use cases where, like by default, what we do and what I do in any project is installing all the matrices. If there is any issue, I know I want to make sure that I can easily know what's going on. So I hope you find it useful and see you again in the next video.